So in today's video, my husband's gonna be home really soon and I need to clean. I think we've all been in this situation at some point in our lives and, or this could not just your husband, this could be if someone's coming over. So if you need to get ready really fast because someone is stopping by your house or your husband's coming home and you sat on your phone way too long and you need to do some last minute cleaning, I'm gonna share with you some tips on what you can do and tell you that it can be done. You can get a good majority of the work done really fast. I timed myself about a month ago on Instagram. I think I did it in like 20 minutes or so and it was pretty fast. Now, it's gonna be hard to time myself on this because it's gonna take longer because of me recording, but I am gonna do it as fast as I can. I will tell you the time that I started and stopped, but you have to take in account of like setting the camera and all that stuff. But my husband will be home soon and I'm gonna get it done as quickly as possible. So here's a couple tips. First thing you're gonna start where they walk in from the first thing that they're going to see so this is where he walks in he's going to see our kitchen and dining room first now the first thing that i see is all of this we need to get this put away grab your shoes if you have a shoe bin perfect grab them toss them in there if your kids a lot of these are my kids i'll tell them to come and get their stuff the counters try to clean off as much of your counter space as you can it, like cleaned counters, even if you just had like this type of counter space, having so much stuff on there, even though this is all clean right here, every bit of this is clean, this just looks cluttered and it looks like a mess. So these were dishes that I unloaded yesterday and just did not put away. <laughs> that's how bad it was. So put things away as fast as you can. Anything that's in the sink, put in your dishwasher. You don't have to start it, but just have it in there. Put things away. There's so much random stuff that you could just put away super fast. So I'm gonna do that. My dining room, Easter basket, why? Crowns, markers, they go in there. This is the kids' school stuff that we picked up at the school. I'm gonna put them back in the bags, put the bags over there, and then the kids can take them into their rooms and we'll organize them on another time. Things don't have to be put away perfect. This is our gaming stuff, not our game, but like our board games and puzzles we've been pulling out. I leave them here so they'll stop going to the basement. Those are fine. Clean off the table. My husband's paintball stuff is here because I washed it and dried it. Fold it up, put it on a chair, and it looks nicer. The hat that goes with it, there's a winter hat. Like, just so much stuff. Just put it somewhere. The next place that he'll walk into is the living room. The living room does not take long to scoop up toys, put them in a toy box. If you have younger children, have a, make sure you have a toy box in your main living area. Makes things so much easier. Scoop it all up, put it away and then you'll be done. Straighten up the pillows, fold some blankets, get some cups. I have my water cups from the, during the day over there. Just do what you can. If you have time, that's when you vacuum. Vacuuming makes a big difference. Run the vacuum or sweep as fast as you can. If you have older children, get them to do that as soon as you get everything off the floor. Employ your children to help you because <laughs> it will be worth it. So I'm gonna get started by working on my kitchen. This video is all fun and games. My husband has never come home and said anything about the house being messy or clean. I just feel that sometimes when I'm sitting at home all day, sometimes he could have a worse day than I am. And I don't think he would want to come home to a messy home. So I feel like as long as I can do a little bit something to make his day a little bit better, even if it's just coming into the house so that he can feel that he can just breathe. You know, sometimes when you walk into clutter, it's hard to like release and just relax and enjoy. So take the time just to do it every once in a while, even if it's something that you're not used to doing. I promise it can change the attitude and the people around you.
entry area is picked up. The whole point is to not clean every single thing you see, it's to pick up everything you see. So if you normally have things on the floor, wherever they are, leave them there. But if you just clear off the counter spaces, clean off your table, it makes it look 10 times better. Now if you have time, you move to the next room. So I have time, so I'm gonna go work in the living room, and then that's all I'm gonna do because these are the only two places that my husband usually sees <laughs> besides um, the upstairs so he'll just walk straight in here and then go upstairs so I'm gonna finish that and we'll be done the least amount of time because when I'm trying to do a quick clean I'm not dusting I'm not going under the couches or the cushions I'm just getting stuff out of the room you saw that there was like a couple toys I just tossed them over there usually I'll do that because I can't, can't get to the hallway faster so I'll just like throw the clothes or whatever in there and then I go into the hallway and then disperse them where they need to go oh, I know this video is not like a normal type video <laughs> that you would see um, and I might get some Flack or judgment on it, but there are times, not just about your spouse, when you have people come over and stop unexpectedly and you just need to get it done really fast. So, some really good tips to help you is start where they first will come in. That is the main point in important spot. So if people are stopping by, just do the room that they'll be in. If someone's coming to drop something off or they're just coming to do something for a quick second, you don't need to pick up your entire house. Just keep them in one room. <laughs> and also, if you think they might need to use the bathroom, I always suggest doing the bathroom. Um, another tip is laundry. If you put a basket or two of unfolded or folded laundry in like your main area, people will see it. Your spouse will see it and be like, oh wow, they did laundry today. Like it's those things that just, in my mind, when I see it, I'm like, oh, okay, they're just a normal person. They're being busy or whatever, active, getting stuff done in their house, whatever. You do what you need to do to get by. Sometimes we have time to sit and <laughs> scroll through Instagram and not have to do anything, or we want to deep clean our cabinets and wash all of our floors and scrub the tables and do all the windows. Those days are like mixed into all throughout the week. So if you've done like me where you sat on TikTok or YouTube or Instagram way too long and you've lost track of time, you know, I think everybody does this. Just, you know, hope this helps. You're not alone if you do this, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know your main rooms that you clean quickly before someone comes home comes to your house or before your husband comes home because i want to know but i'll see you guys next time bye guys